Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well, and I pray for your happiness and long life. Please like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I kindly ask you to watch this video till the end to support me. Now, let's dive into today's crucial updates. We've been on this journey for over 20 years, and today, it seems like we are finally seeing the results we've been waiting for. The big news is that the green light has been confirmed. While it's not yet official, all signs are pointing towards something significant happening soon. This is a game changer for everyone who has been following the Iraqi dinar closely. Let's talk about what this green light really means. Over the years, we've seen many ups and downs, but the current signals are stronger than ever. The anticipation around the revaluation, RV, of the Iraqi dinar has reached a new high. With global attention on Iraq's economic reforms, the likelihood of an RV happening soon has never been greater. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has been working hard to stabilize the dinar, and their efforts seem to be paying off. Now, let's get into the details. The recent talks have indicated that Iraq is moving closer to integrating its currency into the international financial system. This green light suggests that Iraq's economic policies are aligning with global expectations. The introduction of lower denomination notes alongside the 30 notes is one of the most talked about changes. This move is designed to make the transition smoother and to ensure that the value of the dinar remains stable during the revaluation process. Why is this important? The coexistence of these notes will provide flexibility in daily transactions and help the Iraqi economy manage inflation better. As inflation rises, higher denomination notes become more necessary for large transactions. By maintaining both types of notes, Iraq can manage its economy more effectively while ensuring that consumers and businesses can continue to operate smoothly. Moreover, the floating currency system is expected to provide greater stability. When the value of the dinar is determined by the market based on supply and demand, it allows for more adaptive financial management. This flexibility will be crucial as Iraq continues to rebuild and grow its economy. Let's also discuss the real effective exchange rate, RER, which measures the dinar's value against a basket of other currencies. A strong RER will mean that the dinar can buy more goods internationally, benefiting consumers. If Iraq successfully stabilizes its currency, it could attract more foreign investment, leading to economic growth and job creation. This is why the green light is such a positive development. So, what should you do now? Stay informed about the latest trends in the Iraqi dinar's value. This knowledge will empower you to make better financial decisions. Consider saving or investing with an eye on the future, especially as the dinar's value begins to stabilize. Engage with your community about these changes. Sharing knowledge will help everyone navigate this new financial landscape more effectively. Are you excited about this green light? What do you think it will mean for your finances? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.